Hi y'all, I'm back with another hieroglyph. So this clearly looks like a duck, but what did it mean and how did the ancient Egyptians use it? We'll get into that in just a moment. Welcome to Voices of Ancient Egypt. If you're new here, I'd love it if you'd click subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss future videos like this one. All right, so what is this? Well, this is what's called a pintail duck. I know it's hard to tell whether it's a duck or a goose, and there is another hieroglyph that's a goose that looks very, very similar, but this one's generally interpreted as a pintail duck. So how was it used in ancient Egyptian? Did it have sounds? Is it determinative? Let's see. Well, it's usually used for the sounds of S and Aleph. So in modern times, we pronounce this as Sa. And it can be used in a few other words as well, but the most common place we see it is where you've seen it in my videos very recently. So that is specifically in the words for son and daughter. And I decided I had better make a video on this sign because it has shown up in so many of my recent videos. So here we are with it today. This is Sa. So we could use just the goose and usually with a little dash over it as well to fill in the space, along with a seated man, potentially, although sometimes they don't write it, to write the word for son. And likewise, you could use the same sign, add a T for the feminine ending. And I have a video on the T and the feminine ending, which I will link in the corner above. And then add a seated woman, although again, they do sometimes leave this off, uh, to write the word for daughter. So these are super common. You'll see them on a lot of monuments describing people and their relationships to other people who are shown, say, in a tomb wall or on a stela, etc. All right, so there's Sa. I'll be back soon with another hieroglyph. 